Hey mommies, so I am officially 21 weeks. So I'm extremely happy about, um, you know, bringing Honey Bear into the world here. I'm at the halfway mark. But something that my husband and I have discussed is me being a homemaker, stay at home mom, coming home is something that I've always thought about. Um, but I never was uh, able to take that um, opportunity and run with it. I've been a single mom for most of my oldest son's life. He's 20 uh, right now. And um, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that this go around with this baby. Um, I think it's extremely important um, for me personally. It's not for everybody, but for me personally, it's a desire of mine. It always has been um, to be at home with my child, with my young children. And so I'm going to run with this, especially and at least for the first year. Um, if it goes beyond that, fine. We'll just see what goes, you know, and what comes, you know, after that. But for right now, the plan is for me to be home at least for the first year with our baby. So we would have affordable child care, but again, this is what we'd like to do. Um, we both decided we'd both like to have me stay home for the first year. Um, also, in addition to that, not just being home with the baby, I, I want to be more available for my husband um, so that we can take better care of ourselves, better care of our health, his health, um, and I'll be able to travel with him as he goes back and forth like that for work, wherever he's stationed. We recently got a nice surprise, refund from tax return. So that was a nice surprise to add to helping us, you know, pay off some things and save as well. Uh, we actually have another investment that we're working on, getting one of the cars sold that we bought for a really good price. So we're gonna be working on that as well. And that's gonna help with paying down some debt and saving as well. So my other plan is, so after I take my three month uh, maternity leave to go ahead and just put in my two weeks notice, you know, two weeks before that leave is over and let them know that I don't plan to return. Right now, something I'm also considering is stopping uh, contributions to my 401k and my IRA, but I don't want to lose the match that I'm getting on my 401k, which is up to 5%. So. I've been really like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't want to, but you know, I'm still up in the air on the fence about that. So we'll see what happens in the next month or two if I go ahead and stop that because I really only have uh, four months, probably less than four months, you know. So it's not gonna make a huge dent, but it'll be a little something if that's what I decide to do. Um, my IRA, I really don't wanna stop that contribution because um, it's, it's not a whole lot every month, but you know, it would just be something to add to the arsenal of funds uh, also after I leave work I'm, I'm just planning to get on my husband's insurance and if that's not possible just find something affordable that um, myself and the baby can get on and like I said our main concern right now is just having a healthy pregnancy having a healthy baby and um, getting debt paid down getting this house renovated and saving as much as we possibly can as far as uh, finances are concerned, we do, we do have a nice, healthy uh, savings. We have a year's worth of you know expenses saved up, so that's great. We also have properties that if we decide to sell, we can. So we have options there or properties we could refinance. Buying an RV while he's on the road is also something that we're considering so that we can cut down our housing costs. So. That's, that's looking looking pretty nice, depending on where he's stationed. And um, if he's stationed near one of the uh, investment properties, then we'll just live in that. And we'll also be cutting costs because it's paid for. So right now we're renovating a home that's close to where he's stationed at the moment. So when that's done and after I have the baby, either we will sell it outright or we'll rent out the individual rooms, or we'll live in it, or we'll, air, we'll Airbnb it, or we'll refinance it and buy something else, or refinance it and start building on some other um, uh, plots of land that we have. So we have uh, a lot of options, which is great. And I'm grateful for that, that we set ourselves up for that. And um, 
yeah, we can go from there. If anything hits the fan, we can always sell something. We can, you know, renegotiate some things and move things around just to get us comfortable uh, for us, you know, having me stay home for a year. I'm also during that time and right now I'm just keeping all of my licenses active just in case I decide to go back to work or do something part-time. My current um, place of employment, they're not, uh, they don't have any part-time positions. So that's something that's like, eh, because I already know I don't want to be at work full-time. I want to have a very nice floating um, schedule, like I said, to be able to take care of home, family, baby, and husband, and myself. I'm getting myself back on track after I have the child, you know, eating right, working out, things like that. And I just want to be more focused on us, you know. So since we don't have that part-time option, you know, I won't be there. Maybe I'll go somewhere else that has the position that I do and that offers part-time. Or I will use one of my other licenses. And that is either in life, life insurance or cosmetology, or I could be a mobile notary. So I have those three things under my belt as well. And I just keep all of my licenses active, just in case. And so this is a perfect just in case scenario of when I will probably be using one or more of those licenses just to, you know, have something to do or make extra money, whatever the case may be, something I could do on my own time. So yeah, those are some of the things that I have in the works and that we're planning to do so that I can come home and be a homemaker, um, stay at home mom for at least a year uh, or more after we have this baby. So I wanna thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to type them in the comments and I want to thank you all for watching.